Good evening, everybody. It is 8.45 p.m. on Thursday, November 2nd, 2023, and it is time to take down the, take, you know, kick out the jack-o'-lantern and put up the tree. Not really. Um, we won't be putting up the tree until my daughter gets here. Um, I'm Pete Direction from Let Pete Plan at dot com. An agent at Boardwalk Travel Agency, and I am here to talk to you about a little bit more Christmas. I uh, got some updates on the party, of course, as I always do. A um, couple more dates have been sold out, and these are for sure because I'm getting them straight from Disney. Um, it looks like, of course, the 9th and 10th of the not uh, the very merry, excuse me, Christmas party is uh, sold out. And also December 1st, which is a Friday, and the last date, December 22nd, is also sold out. And that would be one of the most expensive dates to go anyway. And so, um, <sighs> tickets range from... 159 to 199 for adults and childs range from 149 ages three through nine to range from 149 to 189 of course if you are less than that you will get in free but then again you're probably not listening to my podcast your parents might be your older brother your sister might be but not you and if you are i hope you had a good halloween um as I said, uh, 9th and 10th are sold out, but there are still tickets available for the 13th, 14th, and 16th. That's a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then also on that Friday and the following Sunday. So the 13th, 14th, 16th, 17th, 19th, and then we got a Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, 21st, 22nd, 26th, um, Tuesday, Thursday, 28th, 30th. The first is sold out, as I said. That's on a Friday. Sunday, December 3rd. Tuesday, December 5th. Thursday, December 7th. December 8th. December 10th. December 12th. December 14th, 15th, 17th, 19th, and 21st. All have tickets remaining. And the last one on Friday, December 22nd is sold out. So, um... The event times start, the, the, the party actually starts at 7, but it, with a ticket, with, a, with, a, um, with the Very Merry Christmas Party ticket, you can actually get into the park at 4 p.m. and then get your little band and then uh, wait around for the festivities to start. And also, you know, ride some rides, do all that, because a lot of people are going to be coming out of the party coming out already if it's crowded at all usually on those days of the parties they don't there's not a big crowd uh during the day um as a matter of fact we're going on the 14th i'm going to try to get in there was for a little while maybe and then go back to the resort and then head back to the party kind of like what we did for the halloween and hopefully there's no rain although they're calling for it right now but then again we're prepared this time we weren't prepared as much the last time for the Halloween party. So, just in case. Um, Jollywood Nights, um, I will check on real quick. Uh, uh, last I saw, it was still the first two dates um, were sold out. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe there's more. Who knows? Um, I do know that they are... Um, starting to decorate already in um oh we do have another date we had the um the 11th and the 18th which were both saturdays and then also another saturday uh december 16th is sold out and that leaves you with seven dates available the 20th the 27th the 29th of november and the 4th, 6th, 18th, and 20th of 
December. So we have three dates already sold out, and all of them are on Saturday. Um, as I said, uh, they're starting to already uh, decorate for Christmas. They tore down all that wonderful uh, fall um, decorations at Magic Kingdom, and they're already up. A friend of mine was there last night, or yesterday. I don't know if he went to the party or not last night. Although the last party was last night, but he was there at least during the day, and they still had the pumpkins and everything up, of course, because they had the party. But today he went back to Dis uh, to Magic Kingdom and took a picture, and they already are having some of the holiday, um, the Christmas um, decorations already up. Um, they work quick, I guess. Once that last person leaves, they start dang. Again, um, I think I've plugged this before on Disney Plus. There's a, uh, a video, uh, a movie, uh, an hour long, I think it is, uh, hosted by Whoopi Goldberg, um, and uh, Jordan Fisher, I think, is in it too. Um, and they talk, they show how they just totally tear down and totally build up. Um, the Magic Kingdom for, to look from Halloween to Christmas real quick. Um, not too sure of when, like, the Jingle Cruise starts or what, but um, I do know that it's fairly early. We were there on November 10th one year um, when there was a party, but we weren't going to it, and it was the, the, the first party of the year that time, that year, and... Um, Jingle Cruise was already running. So, yeah, it'll be running during that time, but I don't know when when it actually starts. A um, few other things I want to talk to you about. Um, uh, the Festival of the Arts, or as some people like to say, farts. And I only say that because I have that middle school, middle school boy humor, and uh, my uh, youngest son... Well, shoot, all my kids have my same kind of humor sometimes, and uh, they all laugh um, whenever I mention that. Um, but the Festival of Arts, I think, starts January 12th and runs to February 19th. Um, the, uh, which, that, that would be at Epcot, of course, and then uh, Festival of Holidays... International Festival of the Holidays presented by, I don't know who, <laughs> oh, um, well, doesn't say, um, I just assumed it had a special name, but they start on the 24th and run of November and run through the 30th, so that's 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29th. 30, so that's 37 days, 37 days, that's running, and then we have the 12th through the 19th, um, and I have to get a pencil and paper real quick to figure that out, um, there's 31 days in January, so 31 minus 12 is... Nineteen days plus nineteen days, thirty-eight days. So it's like one day difference on the length of the um, both festivals. With this year, the uh, Festival of the Arts winning out by one day to take um, the third third place on lengthwise of the uh, festivals. At Epcot, of course, um, Flower and Garden and uh, the Food and Wine last much longer. Um, I want to say the Food and Wine, the Flower and Garden started on March 1st this past year and ended on January 3rd. It was either January 3rd or 20, January 5th, I'm not sure. But, and then, you know... Um, 
I think the one uh, food and wine ends on November eighteenth, and it was it was going on late Jan late July. Um, so you had a, almost all of August, all of August, all of September, all of October, and most of November. Well, half of November. Um, versus versus the the other two. Um, I've been to all four. Um, I've been to uh, Food and Wine a lot this year, and I was at um, uh, Flower and Garden a bit this year too. Um, I love Flower and Garden. Um, food and Wine's okay. I, basically, I'm right now. I'm looking at um, how much, <laughs> how many, and that's what it is. It's Food and Wine. All of them have a. Uh, um, how do I want to put it? All of them have uh, a food. You know all the kiosks and all that to uh, purchase uh, food and beverage um, during the year, but um, I think with with being told, I think um, of those two, I think Flower Gardens more because you have the topiaries, you have the uh, butterfly garden, you have a lot of things going on and. Um, some people may disagree with me, but they'd be wrong. Um, <laughs> no, I really enjoyed um, the festival of the holidays last year when we got to go. Uh, we went, my son and I went um, a few, for, uh, we went to Epcot when we came back after, after Christmas and it was still going on. We watched the Candlelight Processional. And that was really cool. I saw all the storytellers, and I think that's really cool. Um, the Festival of the Arts, uh, that is really amazing. Um, I'm kind of an artsy kind of guy. Um, I know it doesn't look it, but, um, you know, I like, I love to take pictures. I love that. I love to go around and see all the chalk drawings on the, you know, they do a lot of stuff like that. Um, I think it'll be really cool because, you know, this year, because of the 100th anniversary um, I don't know if that'll still be going on, but it also will be the first um, festival, um, the first festival, first festival from beginning to end that will be in the newly imagined Epcot um, neighborhood sections. Um, the celebration neighborhood uh, will probably house a lot of it. So it, it might be pretty cool. Um, you know, we all have uh, our favorites. Uh, for, you know, us Disney addicts that go uh, multiple times um, throughout our lives and throughout, our, throughout the year. Um, as an annual pass holder, I, I get to, I get a, get to, um, thing. now, um, for those of you who are thinking about an annual pass and you are, live in Florida and you're thinking, oh, gosh, I don't want to get that you know, there every day and all that type of thing. Um, I, I did some um, pixie dust. I checked out the pixie dust pass, which is what I have. Um, and I'll be honest with you, you have over two, well over 200 days to enjoy the parks during this during the year. Yes, you have a lot of days that are blocked out and Saturdays and Sundays are blocked out. And if you if Saturdays and Sundays are the only way you can go, then Pixie Pass is not for you. Um but for us, for me who's retired um and only works a couple days a week uh subbing and uh you know booking trips <laughs> I work more than that, booking trips, but hey, that's part of my job. So I have to go back to the parks to do the research, um, which I did. Oh, man, I had a, you know, I talked to you about it um, a couple weeks ago. Um, the last trip I took, I took three. This, when, when, when it's all said and done, and when January 9th rolls around 2024, which will be a big day in the history of Disney um, because not only that, you have the dining plan comes back, you have um, <clears throat> no longer for date-based tickets do you need reservations. And then also for anyone who has a park hopper or an annual pass, 
uh, you don't have to wait to uh, till two o'clock to start your park hopping. So you can get into um, Animal Kingdom real quick, get done with some stuff, um, and then um, you know see some animals, do some do you know do the safari early, and catch the animals early, and then you can go on to uh, Hollywood Studios, do some stuff there. Then go over and then catch the Skyliner over to Epcot and then ride the monorail over to Magic Kingdom during the day. And you you end up and you go and then you backtrack your way. Um, I, I, I like going from Animal Kingdom. I would like to go from Animal Kingdom to Disney's Hollywood Studios Park there. Um, and then do the Skyliner to the Epcot and Magic Kingdom and then back and pick up my car at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Um, that's my that's my goal um, to do the the four park a day um, extravaganza. It's the four park challenge, and I'm up for it. Even at my advanced age, yes, yes, I think I am. Well, uh, that's kind of my goal. For next year to do that at least once, maybe twice, maybe three times. Who knows? Maybe once a month. No, probably not once a month. Um, but at least um, a few times during the year. I'd like to do it around Christmas and just catch all the different Christmas decorations in one day. Um, and speaking of Christmas, um, I got a question um, and I'm going to post this on my uh, Facebook page and my um, Instagram. What's your favorite park during Christmas? Is it the Magic Kingdom? Is it Disney Hollywood Studios? Is it Epcot? Is it, is it the Animal Kingdom? Although they don't have a lot of stuff to do that just screams at you uh, Christmas. Um, they do do some things and, and you know maybe you don't want to be just bombarded by it um you know you're not like me then because i'm just a christmas fool um it is only um, 53 more days um and actually we're coming up on 52 in a in less than three hours it's 903 now um so with that said, and most of you people will probably only see it next tomorrow, so you can just basically say it's 52 days um, till Christmas. Um, with that said, I won't be in there during Christmas and stuff because my um, my my annual pass is blocked out. However, I got some days in December. I'm definitely going in November. Um, <clears throat> November and December, but. Um, you can almost count that as one whole month for um before the pixie pass um, and all that also march is going to be um uh have a lot of blackout dates this next year because of easter falling um i think in march this year i think so i have to look that up i do know uh that there were a lot of dates blocked out in march um, and not as many in April, so I'm guessing that um, Easter is um, in March this year. Plus, um, you always have a spring break block out uh, because there's a lot of people there. And then, um, and then you get into the months where there's hardly oh no block out dates uh, May, June, except for Memorial Day, around Memorial Day. Uh, June, a little bit early in July, there's some dates, um, and then August and September, September has a Labor Day, uh, October doesn't even have a lot, um, except for, again, the weekends, and if there's a holiday that falls on a Monday or a Friday, uh, usually Mondays, like, um, I know that, I know they had Columbus Day off, and I'm pretty sure um, I'm going to be blocked out on the 10th of November because that's, no, actually, I don't think I am this year, which is weird because that's when everybody's going to be celebrating Veterans Day. Well, schools are, schools are having that day off. Um, so if I wanted to, I can go on the 10th. 
I don't think I'm going to because I'm going to be there on the 14th, which is, um, again, my very merry Christmas party. And that probably is going to be the next time I'm there. Um, I have, um, but other than that, I know this has been kind of a going on and out there. I will try to have a little bit more thing. I am writing, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of doing some tips and tricks, uh, blog, a tip and trip with blog on my Substack, um, which is another thing that you can um, uh, subscribe to if you want to, uh, Pete Substack. Um, but uh, from me to you, have a very merry, not so scary, jolly, magical day. Goodbye.